Hello, welcome to Shad Life and my messy workshop. It's always messy. Just be honest, it's always messy. Um, I want to introduce you my Esker Smoky build. I'm in the process of building this. Um, love that little decal there, the shovel or graphic. Um, this, and I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can kind of see it, I think. It's a sparkly kind of black or dark gray finish super nice um so let's go over this build and what i am going to have on it and we might as well start right up here because people are going to notice that this is that rulesman stem i tried it out on my spectral 125 uh really liked it but i felt like that frame this is a little too short or the reach was a little too short for this stem. So I decided when I ordered this frame to go with the S2 instead of the S1. So S1 would be like a small, S2 is like a medium. So this frame actually has a 465 millimeter reach, which for me is huge, right? So uh, having this short 15 millimeter stem will allow me to not have the cockpit get too big but I'll still have that longer front center. So very curious to see how this rides and how it'll feel, but I intentionally went with a size up on the frame because if I was gonna run a normal setup up front, a normal stem, I would have definitely went with the small. Um, but we'll see, you know, again, kind of in this experimental phase to see how things work out, but uh, super stoked about this. You can see I still have a couple spacers here. Um, I might decide that I want to cut the fork down a little more. Um, you can't really like run spacers at the top the way the stem is designed. So you have to cut the fork and slide the stem down. Fortunately, the head tube on this is longer. So like even if I cut it all the way down, um, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. The steer is still gonna be plenty long. And, you know, I'm actually kind of a fan of getting taller bars to raise the front end rather than putting spacers in because the more spacers you put in, the shorter you make the reach, believe it or not. So um, having this be a little tall like this will actually reduce the reach plus the mine and the, the you know 20 millimeters shorter on the stem compared to a 35 mil stem so we'll see and you know a little bit taller front end uh these are i believe 40 millimeter rise bars i can always go with a lower rise bar if i feel like this is too tall but i like kind of how this looks and stuff i mean it does look kind of odd because we're so used to seeing a more traditional setup Super stoked on that. Um, I went with kind of the orange accents. So I got the wolf tooth headset, wolf tooth seat clamp. Um, I ordered some orange pedals and I'll probably try to get something orange up here. Um, maybe um, um, orange grips, orange grip accents or something like that. Um, the other things on this is I went with, I'm gonna put my bird spoked wheels on this bike. I really like these wheels. This is a perfect application for these wheels. Uh, the nice thing is, is these wheels have a lot of compliance. So having them on a hardtail is ideal and it'll make this bike ride really nice. So you combine the ride quality of the steel with the ride quality of the bird spokes and I think it'll be pretty nice. Um, putting my sun cassette on here this doesn't have a lot of mileage on it so it's still relatively new and good to go i'm gonna throw my sram uh gx axis on here so i'll have electronic shifting got a slx crank set uh maxis uh dissector in the back uh, i believe it's a dhr2 up front um so yeah Super stoked on this. Pretty stoked to try out this fork. Uh, yeah, I heard these new RockShox forks are like, a lot of people are saying they like them more than Fox, believe it or not. Which is uh, hard to believe, but that's what people are saying. Um, so yeah, right now I actually put this bike in the scale. So before I put pedals on it, chain, seat, and brakes, 
um, haven't talked about the brakes. I'll talk about that in a minute. But right now, it weighs just over 25 pounds. So I'm going to predict this is going to be 27, 28 pounds, probably closer to 28 pounds when it's done. So not bad for a steel hardtail that's super aggressive. Uh, <clears throat> 64.5 degree head angle with sag so um without sag it's probably going to be like more of a 63 62 and a half head angle um so be it'll be very aggressive um it'll be interesting to see if i like how slack it is um keep in mind with a hardtail when you're riding because you get the sag you don't you don't have rear suspension that sag so it kind of makes sense that some of these aggressive hardtails are slacker than what you'd find in most full suspension bikes because when you uh, sit down and get the sag the, the whole thing rotates this way and, and steepens the head angle and then when you're riding if you compress into a turn or land off a jump steepens the head angle versus a uh, full suspension bike where the frame squishes down here and usually the head angle will actually get slacker when you compress the suspension so uh, it makes sense that a hardtail will be more slack than you know aggressive hardtail will be more slack than a uh, full suspension bike um, so there you have it uh, wolf tooth resolve dropper post yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the brakes. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna try TRP brakes. I've never had high-end TRP brakes before, so I'm gonna get the TRP uh, DHR Evos or something like that, I think they are, um, and the TRP rotors to go with them, and those will be some sweet brakes. Um, we'll see, those parts won't be here for a while. I might butcher another bike just to get out and ride this thing so I could steal the brakes off another bike and uh, grips and seat basically and pedals. That's really all I need. I'm gonna have a chain. I have a chain sitting right over there. Um, just charging up my derailleur. <laughs> charging my derailleur. Can you believe it? <laughs> Modern times. Um, so there you have it, my new Smokey. Um, I will definitely be talking about this bike once I get out and start riding it. Let you know what I think about it. There's a lot going on here. There's the super slack geometry. There's the rulesman stem, tall front end, right? We'll see how all this stuff comes together, but I still have a lot of room to tweak things and change things to my liking. So we'll see. <laughs> Appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.